Welcome to everybody, it's Jeff Bullshit Quarter. Welcome to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be plugging away on the Jeep. Not exactly sure what we're gonna get into. Gonna be doing some more of that troubleshooting on my other channel for the P0303, taking viewers' comments a long time ago and making videos out of them. So one of the ones I'm gonna be working on today is checking for spark. Not checking for spark directly at the spark plug, but actually just checking to see if the wires are producing the spark. I got a special tool that you don't even have to remove the wires, you can leave them in place and check them. Before we do that, I'm going to be live streaming tomorrow night and picked up some beers for the live stream. Unfortunately, by the time you watch this video, the live stream will be long over with. See what I picked up. Beer number one, Java the Hut. Also picked up Waterloo IPA couple of farmers daughters from the uh, damaged beer bin I like these Steigels where the hell they're called red horse Filipino beer I thought I picked up a couple of those Steigels maybe I did maybe I just picked up the one oh well and uh, this is jerk face 9000 I don't even know what the hell this one is to believe that they claim tomorrow's gonna be 18 degrees I'll believe it when I see it I finally printed a coolant cap that fits I had to go uh, 0.25 of a millimeter smaller than the original print to fit on my coolant bottle but I kind of like that that's gonna work out pretty good I think and we're gonna start off now start stripping off the top half of the motor Gotta change that gasket, and once everything's removed, I'm gonna do another leak down test. And uh, I wanna confirm some things because, what cylinder was it? Cylinder number five, according to the board, is the one that's low compression, so I wanna see during the leak down test where it's coming out of. All right, this is where the fun begins. There is no turning back now. You gotta get this done. It's not gonna be a fun job. It's gonna be a lot of work. Probably gonna be more work. It's most likely we're gonna be pulling this head off afterwards. Get my sausage fingers in there. Carefully take that bolt out. Oh, that's tight. Pull that vacuum line off. Turn that out of the way. This electrical cable up here. This one here connects to an O2 sensor down below. This one connects to something that I don't have on my Jeep. Why you stick? Why you sticking? Injector harness I should just pull up, I believe. My hook tool, try to get underneath there, try to get it to come up, because it doesn't want to. Pry bar method, prying off of another bolt. Oh, Jesus, there we go. Fuck me. Uh, last one, of course. Gotta be one. Gotta be one that's gonna be difficult. Do the old pry bar off a bolt again. Come on. Fucking retarded. I shouldn't have to resort to extremes to something that's just pressed on. It's weird, you just gotta get it at the right angle. 
and it just pops off. I need to investigate further and have a look on why it does that. I don't know. That's weird. Oh well. I'm also going to be fixing this this time around. Holy shit, how many zip ties I put on this? So I had the supercharger on. The, uh, the sensor here, I had to relocate it. And unfortunately, um, yeah, that's why the lock's busted. So once we get that out, I got a spare one. I'm just going to take the parts and fix it. Now I don't need to do this, but I'm going to pull the electrical off the back of the transmission control module because it just make it a little bit easier when I go to remove this manifold be less shit catching in the way less headache means happier guy and how long is this bolt that holds it in Jesus Christ now do I fish this up through here that'd be the way to go what am I catching on what am I catching on? I'm just gonna pull this. Oh, just release the vacuum. No more HVAC controls for me. So I'm just gonna take this. What's gonna go underneath? I think we're just gonna go up. And that is the block heater cord that I've never used in my life. Actually, if I pull that plug, I can just get rid of all this wiring harness. Now, I remember when I bought this snap-on quarter inch, and I thought it was going to be like the most useless tool, and I bought it for a joke, and it's come in handy for so many things. It's kind of worth its money. It has its place, that's for sure. Man, how long is this bolt? This seems to go forever. Bleed off the fuel charader valve. If there's any gas pressure left in there, should probably get a rag, but it's been sitting for a while, so yeah, some shot out. Nothing major. Uh, which fuel line disconnect kit will I need? Got the list that tells you. Nope. It's not the three eighths. Maybe the five sixteenths one will fit. Yeah, it's definitely this one. There we go. Having a fire tonight, so. I'm gonna pack it up here pretty quick. But I just wanna bust all these bolts free. You know, header bolts usually are never your friend. These ones are actually coming out pretty easy, but then again, I did use anti-seize on them. I installed the bank torque tube headers about four or five years ago. So obviously it worked. But for peace of mind, I just want to make sure that they all break free. This one right here is the one where the manifold gasket is, is busted out. And then I break this one in the back corner free too. Oh, that one didn't feel so good. I just removed the bolt. From where the gasket's blowing out, you can see the carbon. Well, good day everybody. Back inside the garage, had a fire last night. Dave came over. I'm not sure how long um, this video's gonna last because it's starting to get a cold. It's that time of the season. Throat's getting a little bit raspy here. Did have some beers, mixed up some, and didn't have a very good combination. Started off the night. Drinking the Yukon Brewing Black Current India Pale Ale, which is really good. Then I kicked it off to this Red Horse Filipino Beer Extra Strong 
not a very good combination. Don't be drinking this one and going to this one. It just kind of makes it taste gross. Finished off the night with this one. Then last night trying to sleep, getting stuffy nose, throat being sore, got like four hours of sleep. Just feeling like ass today. However, I was going hard on the 3D printer though. I'm telling you, having a 3D printer, the possibilities are endless on what you can do. Download it and printed a lens cover for my GoPro session. And I printed these little capsules. I adjusted the size for certain things because fuel line clips, you can never have too many because you know when you're doing the fuel tank job, they usually break and most times you have to buy a big kit. Like I just had them all sitting in the Jeep and all these packages and I used to have like a bag or little box of fuses. So I printed off a small one for fuses. And it's nice because they're threaded. And I just throw these in the Jeep. And they take up a lot less space than having all those boxes in there. That's pretty, that's pretty sweet, eh? I need to drop this exhaust because we're going to do the oil pan gasket too. I can tell you right now, those aren't going to come off easy. I'm probably just going to snap off. I don't even think the 3 8 Milwaukee is going to have enough juice. think so we're gonna have to put the half inch on her and snap her off normally this would be a job for the Milwaukee but because of the space the little air powered air cat will get in there a little easier I don't know what the outcome will be oh shit eh I thought for sure she was gonna snap look at that spun the nut right off all three of them came off with the air cat. Let's see if we can get that other side undone, drop her down. And this is where the not so fun part is going to come. Because we're going to have to drop this Y pipe coming down, get it out of the way, and that'll give us some more access to the bolts at the bottom of that manifold. Because this is not going to be fun. Oh yeah, hey, that's where you're hiding. Almost got the exhaust off and then I lost my wobble and socket and look where you are. From my angle it's camouflage and this pipe almost ready to come out and that's why couldn't find it just got the exhaust dropped out gonna slide it out of the way screens are looking good all right I don't know what it's like on the other TJ models but mine is a 2003 and I got a bolt right underneath there that's gonna be a real pain in the butt to get to pretty sure the older style of exhaust manifolds are a lot easier to get at the bolts instead of the 2003 to 2006 models can be done it's not gonna be fun lying underneath you get to inspect your jeep and I'm starting to get the uh Jeep rust happening on the bottom. What do you guys think? There's definitely uh definitely a rear seal leak, that's for sure. Well, that's kind of a relief. I thought one broke off. But that looks like a doll pin or something. At least I hope it is. Alright, I think I'm gonna shut her down. Not only do I have a sore throat. My guts are a little angry, almost had a couple incidents in the garage touching cloth. So, gonna try to choke down a beer and call it a motherfucking day. Alright, motherfucking beer time! My throat is sore. 
Farmer's Daughter by Half Hitch Brewing. This one must be getting a little stale because there was no no fizz when I cracked it open. Tastes all right though. <sighs> so I'm gonna end the video there. I was kind of hoping to get the intake manifold out in this video. My throat is killing me. So I think I'm gonna go inside, lay in the couch, and whine about my man cold to no one that's even gonna be listening because I live by myself. So. In the next video, it's going to be nice out this week. Depending on how this cold is going to treat me, I need to get the ATV fixed. So I need to get that back up and going. Then we can continue along in the Jeep. Because I've had all the parts for the quad for a while. It's time to get that fixed and get back out riding. Because a lot of people have been asking. and I've only been out once this year and I broke it. So I'll talk to you guys later. Motherfucking beer time!